For many, the 6.5 caliber reigns supreme for ballistic coefficients starting over a century ago in 1890 with the Swedish Mauser, the 6.5x55. Now, for a long time, it was considered the world's most accurate caliber, and the Europeans still use it today as one of their favorite hunting and competition guns. Now, I even did a video with my 1898 Swede and shot a dime cold bore at 100 yards, and I've done that more than once. This is accurate, and from a gun over 100 years old. So Hornady picked up on that and introduced the 6.5 Creedmoor in 2007, specifically for long-range target shooting. Now, you could say they nailed it. For many, it is hands down one of the most accurate cartridges out there. And it was actually adopted into the United States military service in 2019 as a sniper rifle. The first time I shot a mile and hit the target on my second shot was with a PSA 6.5 Creedmoor in South Carolina. You know, see the video, I'll put a link here, and that was actually using, I believe, this exact same gun. Now, I must admit, I did have a professional spotter helping me, and if you've ever shot at that distance, that makes all the difference in the world, almost as much or more than the actual trigger puller. And it has been a, a long wait. I finally got my hands on one to review, along with some other items like the optic, the trigger, the stock, uh, and some various ammo from AAC. Let's see what I can do with them and have some fun. Nice. I'm Drew Case. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion. No pulpit, no podium, and definitely no politics. Now, one reason I like the 6.5 Creedmoor, besides shooting it to a mile, low recoil, ridiculously accurate, exceptionally effective for medium game, like deer, is that it is still supersonic and maintains accuracy to and past 1,200 yards. Now, I actually used this very gun to take my buck this year. It was actually the biggest buck that I've ever got, 245 pounds. And it put it right where the crosshairs were. Honestly, it's just an all-around exceptional rifle for hunting and target shooting. Okay, real quick, check out the specs and tech on what we've got here. All right, let's just get to shooting. Let's see what I can get for groups using AAC ammo, and then we're going to have some fun. We'll bang up the hill. We'll see how far we can go. We'll test some grouping at 500 yards with the AAC ammo. Let's just get to it. Okay, so we're breaking in the barrel, and rather than, you know, messing with the groups, which we know are going to improve as the barrel breaks in, let's just have some fun. It's a nice, cool morning, you know. We have just a little bit of wind, but in Nebraska, that's pretty rare. I'm going to start at 3, and, you know, while we're breaking in the barrel, we can kind of play and find out where it's at with the BDC. We'll start at 3, we'll go to 4, and we'll go to 5. Yeah, that was easy. All right, let's just see where we're at with 4. Okay, so that was using the four. Let's try the smaller target at four. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go five. 
Now, real quick, folks, if you would like to find guns and ammo, crazy, stupid prices, I kid you not, the best deals out there. Go to my webpage, the link's here, and sign up for the emails. It costs you nothing, and you can unsubscribe at any time. It's not shared with anybody, but I find and collect all the crazy, stupid deals, and I'll shoot out email blasts, you know, maybe once a day, maybe every couple of days, basically depending on what I find. Now, you also are going to want to check out my X page because that is where I post sort of in real time as the deals come in and I'm finding them, especially items that I think are going to go out of stock fast. I immediately post them on my X page. Anyway, you're going to want to check those out and they cost nothing. Back to the review. Okay, so I was doing five and a half on that one. Okay, and that's the thing with BDCs, is they're gonna be different with different length barrels and different ammo, so I was using five and a half. We'll grab a few more and make sure that we're at five and a half at 500. Okay, let's see how fast we can send these with the five and a half at 500. Nice. All right. Now we got to go clean the barrel because we're still in the break in process. It's a nice group. Oh, that's a nice group. That's a very nice group. Okay, so here we go. 100 yards, the three different ammos. We've got the Bowtail Hollow Point, okay? And that, actually, I get a lot better groups than that. You know, some wind kicked up, and I know from shooting other times, and I lost a whole bunch of video footage, I had some really tight sub-MOA groups that look like that. That is the soft point. There's four shots right there. That's awesome. Flinch. Um, I did wait five minutes in between, but then I didn't wait between the groups, and, you know, it, it didn't like a warmer barrel. It warms up, and they started spreading out. And then there's the SMK. Same thing. Um, you know, I've gotten a lot tighter groups than that. Um, that's actually what I usually get. And so, you know, some of this is just going to be environmental, wind, and, of course, shooter. But there you go. That is consistently what I have gotten with pretty much with all three. This is what I got with uh, the Bowtail Hollow Point, and then the Soft Point, and then this is the SMK. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we'll get to see a few more of those because we only got two that registered. That really sucks. So uh, let's go back and try to get a few more registering. All right, let's see what we can get for groups here at 500. Let's go take a look at those. <laughs> okay. This is so consistent with what we were getting. One, two, three, four, five. In the bomb. I'm calling that one a flinch. That's awesome. And that i believe is the absolute cheapest ammo they have but this is what i've been getting with it now that is sweet and we did just get a slight 
cross breeze. Real, I mean, not much, but you know, at 500 yards, that's enough to just push at this little bit, guys. I love that. Could not be happier. That is the best way to end a review. Okay, I want to give one more go with the SMK. I've got a different bag here, a uh, different day, you know. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's see what we do. I've just cleaned the barrel, so I'm going to file, fire off just a couple of test rounds. Okay, let's give one more go here with the soft point at 500. I don't know. I don't even want to say what I think I see. So at 500, that's what we were getting there. That's consistent with the soft point. I do, I think I might try one more group of the SMK. Okay, so this is more kind of what I was hoping for with the SMK. There's three shots, there's four, and there's five. You know, if we take that as a flyer, that's a palm group. In fact, those three, that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm gonna say that this was probably just coming off of a clean barrel. Um, but yeah, that's awesome guys. You know, there you go. Hopefully that's helpful. Okay. So that's the final group I got at 500 yards. The red is the SMK. Um, and the purple is the soft point. There you have it guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button guys. It helps the most. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, people are watching us. That makes us willingly or unwillingly ambassadors for the Second Amendment. Do us all a solid. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.